from. I've seen guys that be billionaires, millionaires, billionaires, success everywhere, some kind of crazy deal happen, out of their control, whatever else, broke. Broke with nothing left. Five years later, back on top millionaires again. Right here. I've also seen people that you you could just somebody in the workplace sneeze, and before lunch they've talked themselves into being sick and going home, and now they've got every they're at home on the computer looking up symptoms, and they've got everything is there. <laughs> Well, if the devil's stuff is that strong, how much more will the stuff of heaven be? What if our perspective changed so much that when somebody sneezed, it didn't even affect me, it never even landed on me, never, there was never even a thought, a possibility that anything could get on me. I mean, it's like Jesus walked around touching lepers. Now, until he showed up, you, you had to go way around. Whoa, stay way away. That stuff's contagious. It's going to get on me. You see the mentality of the world? The mentality of the kingdom is, come here. Let me get my hands on you because what I have is stronger and trumps anything. Come on, friends. I'm just talking about thinking different. I'm talking about thinking different. I'm talking about actually believing that I am who He says I am. And that I have what He says I have and I can do what He says I can do. And now, for the hard part for me, patience for Him to bring that about in my life and walk it through every day. Because I want it yesterday. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of being... Instead of being disappointed or dissatisfied like that, in, in that process, we can just wake up every day and have fun with God as He transforms our life. It's fun. It's fun being a son of God. It's fun learning. It's fun growing. It's it's fun. Amen. Let's have fun. You want to? Yes. Let's be sons of God. You want to? Yes. Let's let's ask Him to put so much hunger in us that we go after the kingdom of God and the person of God. So much so that that hunger uh, drives us to a place that He can change our mentality. Don't be conformed to the world. Don't think like the world thinks. If, if we quit thinking the way the world thinks, we'll quit having what the world has. If we start thinking like Jesus thinks, we'll start having what Jesus has. Right? Yep. First John 4 said, as He is, so are we. You know, you know, I always thought about that emphasis. We, we say that so much here. As He is, so are we in this world. Right? And so we put the emphasis on that's right now. In this world. As He is, so are we in this world. That's right now, right? We put the emphasis on what we can be in this world, but I thought about it now in a different way. You, you guys go sing or something. You ready? As He is, is also present tense. That's right. See, we, we still, if we're not careful, we leave Jesus up on that cross defeated and beaten and bloody and looking rough and whoa. As He is, is present tense. As He is right now. That's right. That's right. So are we. Mm -hmm. well, I got news for you. Right now, He ain't beaten up and bloody. And defeated looking. I mean, He's... Whoa. Blows my mind. He ain't sick. He ain't broke. He ain't stressed out. Full of anxiety and on pills. and. <laughs> Right. Talking about going to the doctor and how many prescriptions you got. 
So my light came on. <laughs> Guess I can quit now. <laughs> Everybody good? Yes. Uh, there's the thing. We, all right, we're not going to go after this with our own effort. We're going to have to see that it's the truth, right? We're going to have to see this the will of God, right? Now we're going to have to rely on Him and ask Him to perform this and do this in us. Or else we'll just get religious with that and drive ourselves crazy. Say this, Father, Father change my mind. Change my mind. Yes. Father, Father, overwhelm me with your goodness. Overwhelm me with your goodness. That goodness brings about change. That He really is good. We're going to realize that He really is good and He wants good for us. He wants us to prosper. He wants us to be healthy. He's really, really good. Yep. And we quit resisting that and receive it. Live in it. And watch Him and His power and His goodness bring about that change inside of us and watch Him go. Anybody want some? Yes. Yeah. Say, I do. I do.